And welcome back to Good Day. Pope Francis has Catholics talking with his apparently casual comment to reporters that the door is always open to changing the church's longstanding policy of unmarried priests. Welcome to the Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of Dallas, Douglas Desotel. So um, in the early days of the church, there were married priests. This is a tradition that goes back about a thousand years. The universal application of celibacy goes back about a thousand years. There were always priests and religious and monks who were committed to a celibate life in serving the church. It just wasn't universal law at the time. Like you say, there were, of course, in the early church married priests. St. Peter was probably married. We read in the New Testament that he had Jesus healed his mother-in-law. Well, if he healed his mother-in-law, he must have had a wife to have a mother-in-law. Right, yeah, a couple, a couple of uh, New Testament references to that. Sure. Um, the the idea is within the Catholic Church that it, it is a, and, and, and as Paul said in the New Testament, being married, having other obligations is a distraction from your ministry. It can be. It can be. There are, of course, married priests. There are married ministers, some of my colleagues in other faiths, you know, who have very successful ministries and they are married and have a family also. There are Catholic priests uh, due Catholic to, priests who have come married. over from uh, the Anglican tradition, from exactly. the Episcopal Church. We have They're three, married, we, they have children. We have three in our Diocese of Dallas, mm -hmm. and there's some all over the United States also. And they might tell you that it would add to their ministry as opposed to be a distraction. It them. can be a, a, an added factor to their ministry that they're able to, of course, you know, uh, sympathize with families who, you know, do go through the struggles of pressures that are put on married life today. Right. Now, the, uh, Pope Francis made this comment, and again, it appeared to be rather off the cuff. It's always open to discussion. And of course, then the reporters are going, what, what did he say? And, and the Vatican quickly scrambled to explain, this is tradition, not dogma in the church. What is, what is the difference between tradition and dogma? He made the distinction that it's a discipline in the church, not a dogma of the church. In other words, not a central tenet of faith that priests be unmarried. It's a discipline that the church has valued for many years because of its sign value, of its witness value, of total dedication to being wedded to a parish or being wedded to the people that you serve. Also, in, um, in imitation of Christ, whom we believe was uh, not married, you know, not because marriage was bad, but just this total giving of oneself in service to the people that you are assigned to serve in a parish. Those are all values that the church, as put the Pope said, that those are values for himself, he said, and also that the church has valued for the past thousand years when it has been universal discipline. The next question, obviously, is what about women? And that is something the church does consider a dogma. And does consider a dogma. That is not something the Pope could change whimsically. Yeah. He could not. No. Okay. Very good. Thanks for the explanation. You're most welcome. We yeah, appreciate happy it. To meet with you. Thank you so much. We good. do appreciate it. God bless. It.